we're going to talk about how to take a guess for alpha and then use Runga Kutta 4 to calculate a temperature profile. We will later in the next video talk about how to then calculate f of alpha to determine whether or not our guess was correct and then wrap this whole algorithm into a root finding problem using false position. In the last video recall that we put this equation into standard form for an initial value problem by defining z equals dt dr and then um, that eliminated the second derivative from the equation. Um, we also said that the initial condition at r equals zero corresponds to alpha, our guess for the central temperature, and then zero, which is z, which is dt dr, meaning that the derivative is zero. So what we need to do right now is create a function that defines this ODE in standard form that is compatible with the Runge Kutta fourth order function that we already have. So let's take a look at that function first. Okay, so this function needs an input y prime, which is the standard form ODE uh, that takes two inputs, one of them being the independent variable. We call it t in the code, but it is actually r in this problem. And then capital Y is the vector Y that corresponds to T, the temperature, and Z, the first derivative of temperature. Uh, the range of interest is R goes from 0 to 1. And the initial condition is alpha and 0, that vector we defined um, by hand. And then we need to find a step size for the actual calculation. I also want to point you to the equation sheet for exam two that actually defines standard form. Um, again, you have an independent variable and a vector of dependent variables, in this case r and tz. And the fact that we're using fourth order Rungakutta is not particularly important uh, because all of the IVP initial value problem solving methods actually use the same standard form and they would have the same basic input output structure. So now let's go to MATLAB and define the ODE that we want to solve in standard form. So let's call this ID ODE um, rod temperature profile. Okay, so the input is going to be R and it's going to be Y. The output is going to be Y prime. And um, we're going to have to, uh, the first thing I like to do is unpack the vector Y and define any constants. So we're going to need Y, um, oh, sorry, we have to T is Y 1 comma 1 and z is y2 comma 1. Uh, again, I'm doing this. I'm defining t and z in terms of the vector y. And the equation for y prime is equal to, also in my notes, this. Notice that we have an s here, uh, which is a constant that we need to define. Um, so actually, let me do that first. S is actually 10. If you look in the notes or look in the statement of the problem, I'll show you. So here's S. S is 10. Okay, so we have to now define Y prime as being the vector Z and minus S minus 1 over R times Z. So Z and minus s minus 1 minus 1 over r times z. Okay, so that should be sufficient to define our differential equation. We can now feed that into the first input of Runga Kutta 4. So let's make a script that can actually run Runga Kutta 4 and also plot the temperature profile. 
Let's start by guessing alpha. What the problem tells us to do is to guess alpha, the initial guess for tr at r equals 0, to be between 300 and 400 Kelvin. So let's split the difference and guess 350. Um, y0 is now going to be, um, we have to see how we define y alpha comma 0. So alpha and 0. And now we're going to run ODE Rangakutta. You see it outputs a series of independent variable and then a series uh, or a vector series of dependent variables. So actually, I'm going to copy this. So the y prime is going to be this. We're interested in r going from 0 to 1. There is a problem with that, which I'm going to talk about a little later. And I'm going to use a fairly large step size just to um, have something that runs fast while we're debugging it. and. Now we need, we're interested in the T, the temperature series. So that's actually going to be the first row. And we're not actually going to plot the Z series um, because we're not actually interested in that. We invented Z um, just so we can put the equation into standard form. It's the first derivative of T. So now let's plot our solution. So it's going to be R series and y series or t series okay so um, i told you we are going to get an error um, so why are we going to get an error um, notice that we're going starting at r equals zero if i look at the initial value problem i intended this when i wrote the problem um, we have a 1 over r, right? So when r is equal to 0, you're going to get a division by 0 error. Uh, there is actually a fairly easy way to work around this problem. Notice that our anticipated temperature profile should be flat in terms of r when you're close to r equals 0. So there's no real need to calculate the temperature right at r equals 0 if we just start our domains at some small number something close to zero, then the temperature at r equals zero is actually pretty much equal to that value. So we can avoid a division by zero error by just changing our domain a little bit. So I'm going to say I'm going to start my domain at 0 0.001. And let's see, I'm sure there will still be errors. OK, what's the problem? So line seven, not enough input arguments. So this should be a function. Um, I'm not sure that's the actual problem. Oh yeah, okay, we've solved it. Um, so here's the temperature profile. Um, we start at 350 because that, that was our guess for alpha. And then we go down to 348. Notice that it doesn't go all the way to 1, and that's probably because the step size is too large. We can fix that pretty easily. Uh, but it seems to be not going down to 300 Kelvin, which was our boundary condition at r equals 1. So that tells us that our guess for alpha was too high. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. We'll use root finding to find the correct guess for alpha. But the last thing I'm going to do in this video is just reduce the step size so that we get a better plot. Now the plot goes all the way to 1, or at least very close to it. It probably goes to one step behind 1. We're at 350. You see that it looks flat at the top. The derivative with temper of temperature with respect to r is 0 in the middle. 
And this temperature profile looks reasonable, except it does not reach the correct value of temperature at r equals 1, most likely because the center temperature is not 350. We'll deal with this in the next video.